we made it to Donghae where we shipped a car from South Korea to Russia. So the car will be shipped from Donghae to, Vla uh, to Vladivostok. And the thing is, for everyone who's interested, when you have a car like ours, where there's lots of person stuff in there, we cannot ship the car with person's belongings in it. So at least our clothes, electronics, and first aid kit and medication have to be out of the car. So we have to take that on boat on board. But the good thing is, you have 25 kilos you can take on board and 25 kilos you can check in. So there's plenty of room. But as a task today is to clean the car a bit for customers to make a good impression. We have to label everything because things when you, you have to send email to the cust or to the shipping company and they send it to the customs. You have to declare everything that's in the car, all the tables, shares, recovery gear. So we're labeling every drawer and everything now so customers can easily find it and they don't go too, too crazy with our car. And hopefully that is enough for them. If we still, of course the problem, oh, not problem, but how it is here on this ferry, you cannot drive your car onto the ferry and off the ferry again. Which makes me a bit nervous having other people driving our car, but they're just the rules. So yeah. We have to get rid of our clothes, all the clothes, so it doesn't mind, all the electronics. And then we have to prepare what I have to do as well. These drawers, I will have to disengage the lock because the customs probably have no idea how to use these. Because the Korean and Japanese customs already struggle with that stuff. And I was there. So I better take these off as well, just to avoid them breaking my shit. Took us a couple of hours, we were all done. Uh, took the locks off. We labeled everything. Labels everywhere. But yeah, I hope that's enough. Because when you want to ship your car to Russia, you have to give them a list of all the content in the car. So that's why we hope we're well prepared so we don't have to muck around too much with the car. But yeah, we'll see in a couple of days. We've just left our hotel and we're making our way to the port. Leaving Korea. Leaving Korea. Leaving to Russia. A bit nervous. Yeah. The nerves because, are a bit there this time. <laughs> well, because we have to give harbor to someone else and they drive the car onto the boat because you cannot drive the car yourself on the ferry like we did from Japan to South Korea. Yes. And then when we get to Russia, they drive it off the boat and then customs takes about like almost two days before we can actually get the car in Vladivostok. Which we only found out yesterday. So, yeah. yeah. A well. little bit of miscommunication, but you know, it's just. Yeah. We, gotta, we learned from that. And we said before, we get, had to get rid of all our personal stuff. So we have, have heaps of bags we have to take onto the ferry. ferry. Yep, we just got some like cheapo duffel bags that we just filled with all our stuff. So we don't have to worry about getting rid of luggage when we get to Russia. Um, who knows if they might come in use later. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see. But yeah. Well, at the same time, I'm excited to see the ferry. Because yeah. we will stay there overnight as well. And we have to share this class. Yeah. So we probably have to share with eight other people. Yeah. So I haven't <laughs> done that in, since my hostel years. So that's uh, ages ago. When Andy was looking at it on a, online, what facilities were on the boat? There's a freaking nightclub on the boat <laughs> with a dance floor and everything. I think that's gonna be exciting. We'll see how that's. <laughs> see if there's a vibe. And I'm just more nervous about what kind of people we have to share with. Yeah. Imagine someone who snores even though they or farts all night. Oh, I hope we don't get a snorer. That would be horrible. <laughs> that, if we got a snorer, I think I might ask to change rooms. I can't, even though I've got earplugs. Yeah, so like that from Andy. Always bring earplugs with you no matter where you go. I hope we don't get a snorer. Yeah, that is where we're heading right now. Port. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'm getting nervous. So about the like Harvey girl, we were missing, but uh, I can't see it. A little bit nervous. Okay. I'm shaky. I'm sure we're fine. <laughs> well, I, I'm the only one who is allowed to go. So Serena has to wait here. Yep. The driver, moi, has to do the custom decoration. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be, we'll be easy. Whoever's the owner of the vehicle is the only person that's allowed to drive it through customs clearance. The interesting thing would be, if you both would have been joint owner, we both go, or just one of us. Oh, if we should have done that. If they would have caused that trouble. 
So are we ready to go? guys a bit of an overview this way you come in board the ship there are a couple, couple cabinets here on the, on the first floor but most actually upstairs so you see your foyer So most cabinets are actually on the second floor. Not sure what this is. Put a little bar and restaurant this way. Information this way. It's a GD free store there. And it goes to the third floor. It actually, it's not a big boat, I'm surprised. Lunch there. So there are the times and five minutes before the, before the, the service start, go over here and get your ticket. Here have the third floor. On the third floor you got a couple more rooms. So you got the, the shower here. Obvious reason I can't show it. And for the ladies, it's up there. I want to see us have a quick look so that's what it looks like nothing special no water even at the top at least you have a nice view when you take a shower and here we've got the local charging station on the third floor next to the women's shower so this is us there we are well, at least we it's me and it's Serena. <laughs> and all two square meter. So we'll see how the night goes and how many people will snore here in the snow. Right. When you first walk into our to get into this area, somebody's feet. It's so bad, like fungus feet, that's how bad it is. Might go pour some you thought this around that area. There's a bit of information if you can book your own beds. Odd numbers are on the bottom, even numbers on top. Birthday. <laughs> Treat yourself. We do not support drink driving, so watch out on the road. So we walk through here. If you pay 15,000 won, there's even a buffet. 
And that's what we got. Hey, baby. There's a view like this. <laughs> I thought I would bring the sample from the tripod little thing and I felt so much. Huh? And there's an iClub as well. Not much going on. He's not playing a saxophone. But he's playing. how luxurious it is here these are my two square meter look at all that space and I'm not even a tall man so I'm 175 and I can just lay flat so yeah and I hope for you to turn off these lights later and Serena is over there <laughs> good night so I managed to have a couple hours of sleep, or the way I feel like it wasn't the best sleep. But definitely when you come here. Okay, so some earplugs. And I mask. Due to some unexpected delays with Russian customs at the port, we had some extra time on our hands and explored Vladivostok. After four and a half months in Japan and South Korea, it was nice to see a different type of architecture and old stone buildings again. We even found a nice bar to celebrate Serena's birthday and even made some new friends. While it's in Vladivostok, check out this submarine from the Second World War. The front section is a museum type exhibition and the aft section is in its original state. We can recommend to try a typical container style restaurant where locals go for lunch and dinner. Walking around Vladivostok, you will find many art pieces and we even stumbled across the Sunday market. So on the way to the port, unfortunately it took like, we was meant to pick up on fr last Friday, but because there's too much work and not enough paper at the customs, we had to wait until Monday, which is a bit annoying, but it is what it is, but yes. The train station is ahead of us. That's where Trans Siberian Railway finish or starts. It's, it depends how you want to say it. Oh, wow. like a train. oh almost as Harvey. Yeah, yeah.
get this stuff organized gotta get our clothes packed away and all this other stuff for another hour here and then we can get to the supermarket and make our way uh, then i'll get or make to uh, make our way to lake baikal which is about 4,000 kilometers away so it will be an interesting trip